Hey guys, you've probably never heard of this AI video generator before, as most discussions revolve around tools like Kling, Halu, Sora, and others, but let me tell you, this AI is excellent and is definitely competing with the leading video generators. This AI offers text to video and image to video capabilities. What's even more impressive is its templates feature, which allows you to create engaging and viral videos with ease. For example, take a look at this sample video. If you recall, this is a famous prompt that Sora also produced, but I think the quality of this one is just as good and can certainly compete with it. The simulation of fabric, the movement of people in the surroundings, the form of hands and faces, all of it is flawless. Pay attention even to the reflections on water surfaces. So precise and elegant, in my opinion, it's excellent. So let's dive in and explore all its features and test them together. First, visit their website polo.ai and click Try Polo AI. I'll start with text to video, which I'm sure will be the most exciting feature for many of you. You can write your own prompt, but the AI also provides suggestions you can choose from. I'll go with one of their suggestions. There are two modes for generating videos, standard, which is faster, and professional, which delivers higher quality. I'll select professional, but keep in mind that standard uses fewer credits. In the next step, you can choose an appropriate aspect ratio from three options. You can also adjust the impact strength of the prompt to control the AI's creativity. I recommend setting it to 50%. You can set the video duration to up to 10 seconds, but note that longer clips consume more credits. The camera control option is available in standard mode, but it's disabled in professional mode. Finally, you can uh, provide a negative prompt to uh, refine the output. I'll leave this blank and uh, click create. The estimated generation time is two to five minutes, but in my experience, it's usually faster. Here's the result. I think it's great. While there are some minor imperfections, you can fix them by adjusting the prompt or using a negative prompt. You can clearly see the AI's quality and how it simulates clothing and uh, the movement of people around the main character. This was a solid start. Let's try a few more prompts. This time I'll use the AI's help to generate a prompt. You only need to provide a topic and the AI will create a full prompt for you. From the suggestions it generates, you can pick one or if you're not satisfied, hit generate more. I'll keep the same settings as before, but use standard mode to compare results. This way, we'll also use fewer credits. Here's the new output. I think it handled the prompt really well and has a strong ability to understand and visualize it. Now to make comparisons, I'll use some of Sora's famous prompts. We've tested animals and humans. Next up is nature and environments. This time I'll use professional mode for better quality. Wow, I think it's incredible. Look at the ocean waves and the distant scenery. It's stunning and realistic. The lighting in the scene is also very professional. Now let's try a car motion prompt, another example Sora is known for. Here's the result. It was generated super quickly and with great quality. I think it's suitable for use in short film projects. The only issue I noticed is the car's braking, which looks a bit odd, but you can easily fix that by regenerating the video. Next up is the exciting image to video feature, which we'll test together. In the first step, upload your chosen image. I'll use an animated image to evaluate its ability to create 3D animations. After uploading, you can also specify the animation range. You can add a prompt here or leave it blank. Again, I'll use professional mode for this test.
The animation was completed quickly, and here's the final result. I think adding a blinking effect would have made it even more engaging, which you can achieve by providing a more detailed prompt. Another feature available here is the end frame option, which can make your output even more precise. Now let's move on to the templates section, which is really fun and lets you create viral videos. There are three options here, AI hug, AI handshake, and AI kissing. I'll try AI hug using two images of Donald Trump and Taylor Swift. There aren't any specific settings here, just click create. Here's the result. While it looks a bit odd, it's still pretty cool. You can try AI kissing and AI handshake, which work similarly. There are three subscription plans available. Based on my personal experience, I'd recommend the Plus package for most users. However, if you're a heavy user or need to produce a lot of videos, the Pro plan would be more suitable. In any of the plans, you have access to both standard and professional modes, and the videos you create will be watermark free. I believe this AI, while already offering impressive quality and standing as a strong competitor to other video generators, is set to achieve significant advancements in the future. We'll likely hear much more about it as it evolves. Polo AI handles nearly all prompts effectively and delivers a solid performance overall. Of course, many of you are probably eagerly waiting for the release of Sora's AI and are excited to use it. However, in my opinion, Polo AI can compete with Sora to a great extent and delivers a comparable level of quality. You've seen many examples created by Sora and Polo AI was able to replicate and produce similar results with ease. It's worth visiting their website to uh, explore the samples and features they offer. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Until next time, stay creative.